Now, in between doing polishing work to the frame and the case parts downstairs, what I've been doing at the moment is sticking the uh, the top part of the keys on. Now, I mentioned in the uh, another video when the uh, the tops of the ivories arrived, well, the tops of the keys, the uh, the fake substitute ivory, um, comes in uh, a block like that or like that. Once you've laid it out, uh, the process we've got for putting these on, I've got is to score the back of them, score the front of the key, like that. And I've got this uh, thing here, which is take that off there like that. That's um, got a little lip on it like that, so that when you put the key up against there like that, that goes on there bit of uh, contact adhesive on that side, contact adhesive on that side. Once it's ready, you put that up to there like that and press down on like that. Then I've got these uh, cutouts, piece of wood, to go on the top like that. Just to secure it in place. Box of clamps to uh, clamp it up. And voila, the finished product looks like that. Leave them to set, and then finally they end up looking like that. There you go. Now obviously they need to be shaped to the key, so that they're the same shape as the key, flattened off at the edge. We need to get them all to be the same on the front. I just pointed to the phone with my finger on the wrong side of the phone. And then we've got to uh, shape them round the edges and make them look all pretty but basically that's that job uh, mm. hopefully they'll look all right because it's um first time we've used this stuff and uh yeah i'm sure it'll be fine so, mm. quick update on the keys um and they're now looking nice look that's how they are before when, once we stick them on and this is how they look when they're done uh, they're still a little bit rough at the moment. I've uh, left the corner off there slightly proud so that when they're on the keyboard we can uh, file them down. And that's all done with a combination of files, linishes and uh, sandpaper to get that shape. So the fronts as well are still rough because that's going to be put on the keyboard and then flat edge across that to make sure that it's all perfectly uniform. But uh, yeah, that comes later. But for now they are actually looking like keys again. Nice. Now then, now then, now then, look at these keys now. What do they look like? They're still a bit rough and ready at the moment because I've not done everything, but they are now on the key frame. So, looking pretty good, eh? Yeah, looking the business. Um, so what I've done now is uh, I've flattened off the fronts because obviously I was on about flattening off these so that they're all nice and level. I've got a uh, nice straight edge here, look, which you can put down there, foot like that, and they will all be about right. Not perfect just yet, actually, because I still need to do some work. Uh, the next stage, actually, after this, is to get the backs of these level. Now, I left them a little bit proud before. They're still not quite all the way down. I've done that on purpose so that I can put the file down here and sand them so that that key and that key are exactly identical to each other and we'll do it throughout the whole piano. So that's uh, the next step but before I can do that as you can see some of these keys are a little bit further spaced than others uh, and I need to get all these keys evenly spaced like that, there you are. but yeah, they're over there at the moment. You do that by uh, a combination of this key and this key down here. Now that key down, uh, this pin, sorry, not key, these pins. Uh, there's a pin at the front called the back pin and there's a pin in the middle called the balance pin. And uh, the back pin will change the position this way and that way. But before I can do that, I've got to make sure that none of these keys are kinked that way or that way because that will change the spacing in between in relation to these as well now up here I've not done some up here yet 
you see that one in particular look really wonky so what I can do is tap that pin that way that will make that key instead of going like that go and straighten it up but that may change the spacing in between these keys which at the moment is okay so then what I've got to do is get that that pin underneath and kink it that way and eventually all those will be level once that's taken care of I can then file all those flat once I've done that I've got to file the edges because nobody wants sharp edges down here down here down here and I've got to file them so that they're a little bit rounded on that edge uh, that's got to be a little bit rounded here and then the pig is getting a nice little curve on the front of those that is a sod to actually make all these look identical uh, identical because it's all done by hand and I've got to somehow round off that corner <laughs> and keep them all so that they're uh, all identical such as um, actually there's a piano here look ta-da there you go look that's what keys look like when they are rounded off at the front and I've got to make sure that they are all rounded like these are so yes and then I can polish the top of the keys sand it with 1500 grit paper just to get out any light scratches or imperfections then use paste compound to finish up and make them all look really shiny after that the keys are done but as you can see there's still a lot of work and I am not looking forward to rounding off these corners. That is going to be hard work. <laughs> so, <laughs> wish me luck. Oh, and one other thing just before I go. These weights at the back of the keys, they're giving me the height. Because another thing I had to do was uh, get the height roughly about right. Just so that I can check on the, the position left and right and all the other stuff. So I've had to put weights on the back of the key so that uh, the weighted at the back. And also when you set in the height of the pins, you uh, when you had to set in the height of the keys, there's little tiny pieces of card washer underneath where these keys sit. And when in, when you put washers under there it will change the height up here which gives me the overall height of the keys which is why a couple of them up here look a little bit wrong so focus come on phone yes very rubbish and the fronts are I've cleaned these fronts up once but they look like they could do with another quick clean up actually um, and there's a remnants of glue on the front from where I stuck the tops on that needs all coming off as well so yeah so this is going to keep me busy for uh, quite a while yet but on the plus side they are all now back on the keyframe and as you can see they are looking quite nice already and uh, yes hmm very nice so keys Another stage of the uh, top of the keys uh, process. I've got this uh, clamp down there, going along there, so that I can get the, uh, the edges of the back absolutely flush with each other. You can see I've been filing them off in a nice straight line, uh, so that all of them are absolutely identical. Uh, the combination of a stick like that to get the worst off, like that. Obviously at an angle because they're, uh, it's not very easy to see, but they actually go back at that kind of angle at the back of the key. And then once I'm close, I've got a file which I've prepared that actually is tapered in like that. Phone, come on phone, focus here. That's the one. Uh, tapered on either end, so I'm guaranteed to get a nice sharp corner when I'm doing the fine work. So hopefully that'll make them all in a nice straight line. So I'll show you after I've done. Well, there you go. How do you like the look of these keys now? Very nice, isn't it? 
you know, all the sharps are done as well. I mean, they're not quite 100% uh, spaced yet, um, but I'm waiting till uh, they're at the right height backwards to do all the uh, fine work. Um, slight bit of kinking one way or the other needs to be done as well. Uh, I've done it roughly, but uh, yeah, it's all done. All, all, all looking good, isn't it? Brilliant. Really pretty piece with that. Even the the, the front slot, they all look uh, all the even. It was these little sort of bits that I was worried about not looking the same, but uh, yeah, they look uh, brilliant. So I'm very happy with them. So now on to the next stage. What's the next stage, I wonder? Hmm. That's a, that's a very good question. I'm I was thinking I might do these, but I will explain what I'm doing with those in a short video if I decide to do that. Uh, I've got to go and find all the parts, so I'll let you know later. Okay.